So, here's the case. The Outer Wilds is a piece of art that you get to play through. It's an adventure, exploration, mystery game set in a galaxy far away from ours. You play as a pilot who is about to embark on its first journey into space. But your first expedition is not what you were expecting. When the sun explodes into a supernova and sends you into a time loop. Why did the sun explode? Why won't you die? And many other questions are out there waiting to be answered. Story. The story is everything here. Yes, there are many other amazing parts about a space exploration game. But the story takes the experience from good to great. In the most basic terms, the story is a mystery. But we don't like basic here. As you explore and meet people in all parts of the galaxy, you will learn about who they are what their lives are like, and why they chose to go to certain planets, and how all these things come together to make one beautiful story. But, much like Dark Souls, you can choose to skip the exposition and story if you just want to explore, if you're into that. There is no voice acting. The whole thing is told through text, so yes, you gotta read. Admittedly, at first, I didn't like this. But as it went on, I came to enjoy it because I could think of my own voices for the characters. The game doesn't force you to go anywhere or do anything, and this creates the feeling that the story is really like your own. Last but not least, the game has charisma. It made me laugh, and it made each person feel unique. What do you do? What do you do in the game is a mix of simple and complex. You can walk, jump, use your jetpack, use your signal tracker, and set your scout to take pictures. You do all these things in order to explore every little crevice of every planet. The planets have different hazards to watch out for, puzzles to solve, and platforming sections to traverse shortcuts to unlock, eventually you will want to put all the clues together and beat the game, but for the most time you'll be lost exploring. Gameplay Remember how before I said simple and complex? Well, this is the complex, in such a way as to not die will take some time. You will need to master the gravity of each planet using your scout to see if there's toxic gases in front of you, how to not run out of oxygen and fuel, and much more that I don't want to spoil for you. Sometimes there would be some screen tearing and black spots, but it didn't bother me that much. Artistic direction. <clears throat> the visuals and sound are the real showstoppers here. Right from the opening intro, I was entranced by the music. It just transforms you into this wonderful childlike state of mind, ripe with imagination and a sense of wonder. This is complemented by the beautiful, vibrant, dreamlike art style, the beautiful planet design that will have you picking your jaw up off the floor. Everything feels like it's meant to go together like a puzzle. Truly wonderful. Is it worth it? I had heard a lot about this game when it came out in 2018. And I even saw it on some people's Game of the Year list. And they were right to put it there because I would have done the same if I played it then. This game is not only a wonderful escapism, but it taught me a lesson I won't soon forget. A lesson that could only be told through the medium of video games. It was more than worth it. For God's sakes, I sat and watched the whole credits. That doesn't happen. Aha! <sighs> Case 
closed. Let's finish this. <clears throat> Mr. Outer Wilds, it's me, Detective Manfro. I just wanted to say that you are guilty of teaching me that it's not about the destination, but it's about the beautiful experiences that we have along the way. Honestly, this game hit me emotionally, and I really enjoyed it. And honestly, if you were to make a sequel, I would play the shit out of it. So, thank you very much, Outer Wilds. It's been a pleasure. Take care of yourself.